So, what we're going to do now is synchronize the carbs. Synchronize the carbs. So much is talked about synchronizing carbs. Now, basically, all that means is that we're going to make sure that they all open at the same time. So, all the carbs are working as hard as each other. A, this will give us a proper tick over. Because if one's slightly open and the others are closed, then you know you're messing about with the the, the, the air screw, wondering why the tick over is all weird. Because one of the throttles is open and it's uh, trying to run the engine, and the other two aren't. And it's particularly, and if and if it's not synchronised, where you really notice it is that change from the pilot circuit through to uh, going onto the main car. That, that you know you you're there, you open the throttle, and it's that slight hesitation, and then it goes. That's badly synchronised carbs generally. So, how do we synchronise carbs? We look through from the engine side of the carb, so that's the air filter side, that's the engine side. And what we do is we adjust these throttle rods so that every uh, throttle slide, can we get this here? So we're going to adjust it so that every throttle slide is just open by exactly the same minimal amount. Okay, that's basically it. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that with the screws to try and get every sort of slide and I'll, I'll just get it open an absolute fraction of an inch on each one and they should all be identical and that is the carb synchronized okay so I've used the throttle rod screws you know to screw the throttle rods in and out so that each throttle slide it should now all be in exactly the same gap if they're not, well, I've got it wrong. Is that one a bit open, more open? Mm, possibly. I'll check them again. But the main, main, this is my main guide or tip, if you like, is set them without the throttle linkage connected. All right? Because that can really mess things up fit the throttle linkage after you've synced the carbs and then and get the, the the length of that right then okay because it can it, it can hold the, this throttle bar open because the linkage itself is you might have said it too short and then everything's a bit weird because it doesn't stop properly because it's stopping on the linkage rather than on the top of the carbs and so it, it, it's not and so when you're running it can sometimes not stop exactly the same place so you sometimes got an even running on the tick over so set that first then your throttle linkage okay and then you'll find things a bit more accurate so we keep flipping this up and down and uh, check it all again I think we're okay um, now and I'll also just mention that one problem I had on, on the my T160, I couldn't get it right. That again, just coming from tick over, just as soon as you open the throttle, very, very low throttle, it was uneven, misfire running, I couldn't work it out, I tried everything. And eventually, 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 what I discovered was that my this throttle rod was worn, badly worn. So, as it's a gantry, uh, the... Um, you know, the cable basically attaches to this gantry and so what was happening was because the rod was so worn it was lifting this side carburetor first then a half open in the middle and then that end wasn't opening at all not you know which is really no well you know not not when you first open the throttle you know it took it took until about sort of there before this one started to open and that was the problem, it was simply a worn throttle rod. I replaced the throttle rod and it's been great ever since. I mean, I'm not joking, it took me two, three years of messing about with the carb and changing all the settings and trying to work out what the problem was. And that's what it was, because I because I simply didn't check it. I was messing about doing all my synchro, synchronizations, messing about with the carbs, and it was simply that the gantry itself was worn and was, wasn't lifting the carbs evenly. Of course, when the throttle's half open or fully open, you don't notice that, you know, that unevenness, you won't notice it at all. But when you're just off throttle or on, you know, on idle, then you really, really notice it. So that's why it's important to get it right. Okay, I think we are 
synchronized so I'm going to put the lock nuts on and then obviously check it all again check the things up when the lock nuts are tight check it it's not moved then we're going to put the throttle linkage on okay after we synchronize the card oh and uh, actually next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to check I'm going to set the choke so the choke is now fully off but obviously I haven't set the cables yet so uh, that one's like three quarters off that one's only two thirds off and that one's about two thirds off so I've got to I need to set the I'm going to play about with the adjustment on the cable okay and uh, to make sure that when the choke is fully off it is actually fully off okay I think we're synchronized and ready to go now okay so I think they're all uh, the same height I've re I've connected the uh, I put the lock nuts on the uh, throttle rods and I've connected the linkage and uh, just checking that everything does open actually at the same time unlike on my one and it's all smooth oh and that the uh, let's have a look at the choke which aren't at the moment that the chokes go fully up out of the way when we're on full choke when it's turned off yeah, the lever wasn't off so hopefully yeah the chokes have disappeared up into the body yeah when it's on full yeah okay uh so that's fine all done um so we're about ready to uh, so the car's all synchronized now and um about ready to put them put them on the bike uh there's something else i've got to do i'm trying to remember what it is hold on right yes of course the last thing i've got to do is to set the air screws ready uh for to which is to, to adjust the mixture on the idle circuit. So the standard setting for that is one and a half turns out. So you screw them in just till they stop, not hard. Half a turn out, one turn out, one and a half turns out. Now that's the basic setting. When we get the uh, carbs on the bike uh, and the engine's warm, running and so on, then we can fine tune these. But don't forget, they only tune the pilot circuit. They won't have any effect on the general running, uh, the mixture of the um, the main carburetors. And generally, what you do is you uh, you just play with this slightly, very slightly, bit of turn at a time, until the engine runs at its fastest. That's its optimum setting. Then turn the tick over down, do the next carb and the next carb. Okay, and then that's it. And then set the tick over. Uh, and it should be done. Um, I know there's a lot talked about these, but don't forget it is only the mixture of the idle. But obviously if you get a proper idle, then again, that, that difficult transition from pilot circuit through to main circuit, that's what it's all about. Otherwise you get that hesitance as you pull away and it's a complete nightmare. So that's why it's important to get that mixture right at idle. So you've got a nice smooth transition from the pilot circuit as you pull away up to into the main main circuit so i'm going to do that i'm going to set all three carbs uh and uh, i think we're then ready to get the carbs uh on the on the bike oh i'm also uh i'm going to use for now i'm going to use the old um uh petrol pipe connectors because these are a bit awkward and these are crimped so um, I say I might get uh, I might get new ones. Obviously, I need to clean the float bowls out when they're all rusty and horrible. But I thought I'd reuse those just easier, and then just have to get new pipe for the, for either end. Right, carbs are all done and ready to go on the engine. So I've got the uh, manifolds here, the inlet manifolds, which I'm going to put on the back of the cylinder head. The thing to note is that they are handed. So you've got a left center and right uh, manifold if i can get the light in the mind i promise you it does say right there we go okay so we're putting the uh, manifolds on now got the center one on so uh, manifold and then you have a uh, gasket you can see in this here 
manifold, gasket, then insulator, little Bakelite insulator. Okay, and then a second gasket. There we go, and then they simply screw on to the cylinder head with two uh, Allen screws. Then we have the manifold rubbers that go uh, onto the uh, inlet manifold. Just double double check that they're not split, cracked, because uh, this is where they do leak or uh, leak air from and then that messes up everything air leaks bad news so uh that's okay and they literally just uh, slide on and then then they're done up with the uh, then the jubilee clips and then it'll be the same when we get the actual uh, manifold on uh, the actual gantry I'll put them on the uh, I'll put them on that side first okay the uh, manifold rubbers uh, are on now hold on with Jubilee clips uh, anything I'd say is do make sure that these are fully on these rubbers right up on the manifold uh, inlet manifolds and done up really tightly with the Jubilee clips because they do uh, they are known it has happened to me where the whole gantry has just slipped off the, because the only thing that holds them on are these jubilee clips and so uh you know the, the whole the whole lot of bank of carbs can slide off backwards if you're not careful now what i'm going to do is then i'm going to uh, pre-fit the uh jubilee clips so as not to forget them just loose make sure they're loose oh, that was nice and loose that's good i'll loosen them off and then fit the gantry which i know is going to be fun I know the gantry's not going to want to go in, um, so I'm not going to do this on camera. But basically, I'm going to get the gantry and fit it in there, and I'll probably see you in about half an hour's time. And there we go, carbs, uh, carbs on. It was as much of a pain as I thought it was going to be getting these um, rubbers on, but uh, eventually I did it. I tried putting the rubbers on the gantry and the rubbers on the manifold and i think in the end I, I, I had the rubbers on the on the gantry first uh note that the um the clip the screw for the uh for that um jubilee clip in the middle is over there because otherwise it gets in the way of the uh lever where the uh, throttle cable goes and it uh, interferes with the mechanism down there so that's why that's up there and yeah uh, okay just be aware of that uh, but yeah carbs on and uh, all looking good all working well and hopefully all ready to go